My name is Mauricio. I am the Vice President of Abolish Abortion Florida. And I am here to talk to you about the amendment number four. So what is amendment number four? Amendment number four is a proposed amendment into our Florida constitution that would make abortion constitutionally legal. That would give it a right for any woman to go in and have the abortion pretty much at any time she wants. And this is because of how vague the wording is in that amendment. So this is how this proposed amendment is going to look in your ballot when you go in on November 5th, 2024 to vote for your future candidates. It's going to read as follows. Amendment to limit government interference with abortion limiting government interference with abortion except as provided in article 10 section 22 no law shall prohibit penalize delay or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's healthcare provider i want to be able to define to you what viability means basically it means at the point in time when the baby can survive outside the mother's womb. Typically here in Florida, we had a ban against abortion between the months, uh, between the, the 22nd and the 24th month. There's been times where the baby has survived outside the womb out around the 20th week because viability isn't really defined here in this amendment um really nobody knows when their quote-unquote healthcare providers which are the abortionists the hired hitmen they're not going to encourage them not to kill their baby i mean they're they're there for for profit they're not there as a non-profit organization in most cases they want money so they're not gonna be like, oh my goodness, this baby is 20 weeks or 22 weeks old. It, 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 has, it has the viability to survive outside your womb. I think you need to keep this baby when it comes to the health, okay? Um, we have very, very many instances where the mom is under a lot of stress or you know, dealing with uh, financial issues or emotional trauma and she no longer wants to keep the baby. So um, it, it's vague in the sense that, what do you mean by health? Like if it's the, the health of the mom and for her to survive through this birthing process, it's either the baby or the mom, that's not an abortion situation. That's a matter of a doctor coming in and using his Hippocratic oath to be able to decide you know what what's best for both patients treating both patients equally as human my grandfather went through that same situation back in the 50s with my aunt who is uh who's now 70 years old i believe uh so she survived right but the doctor gave him the option it's your your your, your wife having serious preeclampsia issues um your you know, it, you know, it's either her life or your daughter's life. Which one would you like? And the father, my grandfather was like, my wife. I already have seven other children. Like, I, you know, I cannot do this without my wife. The 1950s in Peru, there was no law that allowed abortion. It was primarily Catholic. Our, our country was primarily Catholic, is probably still. And they, need, they didn't need an abortion right law women's lives can still be preserved in america without the need of an abortion right law that really much gives every woman at any time at any for any reason a chance to murder her baby in the womb so that should kind of give you a little hint that really this is useless then we have the healthcare provider if you go to no to the number four dot org you read that a healthcare provider is literally anyone, a pediatric or even a, a speech therapist. E even if healthcare provider 
was defined in details accurately. Women are still having abortions in their own homes. So you don't want to vote yes on this amendment, especially if you're professing to be a Christian, born again, loving Jesus, believing that God is the grantor of life. You vote no. It's a command. Because God has told us thou shalt not murder. Because God has given us a principle of justice. And that principle of justice is that we should show no partiality to anyone. So if you're an embryo, if you're 10 weeks old, if you're a uh, baby in development at 20 weeks, there's no partiality to that child. We shouldn't just consider that child nothing and have a law that kills, allows women to murder that baby because we have to do everything for the baby. Um, that's not how God sees life. In fact, that's how we are with God. Without Him, none of us can live and survive. You know, our lives is like, it's like, like a string around his finger where he can just easily cut that off whenever he decides to do it. And our life ends there. So who are we to tell God who gets to live and who gets to die? We're not. So hopefully I've helped you make a decision to vote no on this amendment. That's it. Thank you so much.